Tonight, we continue our week-long series, Policing in Eastern Carolina. Throughout the week, we're looking at why people choose to serve and protect, and how community groups and law enforcement leaders alike are working to make sure they do it with honor and integrity to benefit all. Our focus tonight is on the danger law enforcement officers face. Last year across the country, 246 law enforcement officers died in the line of duty, 60 by gunfire. And behind every one of those numbers are families, loved ones, and friends left to grieve and somehow carry on. A widow in Lenore County has been doing exactly that for the past 14 years. It was the happiest day of Katherine Pearson's life, marrying Alan Pearson. He was a great guy. Her darkest day came less than two years later. That was absolutely the worst night of the whole family's lives. That night, April 8th, 2009, it's when Lenore County Sheriff's Office Detective Alan Pearson, just 29 years old, was shot and killed in the line of duty while he and others worked to arrest a murder suspect. Catherine says when the call came in that night about an armed suspect in the woods, she and Alan had already gone to bed. She says he got up and headed out. And the next thing I knew, he walked back through the door and he's like, I forgot my handcuffs. And so, uh, you know, those little things I'm thankful for now because I got, you know, one more I love you and, you know, one more kiss. And, um, you know, so um, I remember sitting on the front step and I watched him leave and I was very, I was nervous, um, was very nervous. And, um, but, you know, he'd always come home. So you just honestly expect that they'll come home. But this tragic night, he didn't. And it changed Catherine's life forever. It's been tough. Um, you know, I miss him every day. Um, what I've learned about grief is it is something you face every single day. It does not end. Um, personally, when I wake up every day, I lost my husband again. The death of Detective Pearson affected so many people, not just his family, but the community here as well, and also the Lenore County Sheriff's Office, especially those who were his close friends and working with him that night. I think about it every day. Lenore County Sheriff's Office Lieutenant Sean Howard was close friends with Alan and also among those on the scene that night when Alan was shot. We then began, uh, myself and another officer that were there with him, began working on him immediately um, to the point to, um, to determine the extent of his injuries. While time has passed, Alan's loss is something Howard still deals with to this day. It's a process. It's been a process for the last 14 years. And it's another unfortunate reminder of the dangers law enforcement officers face every day and the sacrifices they and their families make to keep people and communities safe. I was very proud of Alan of what he did and he loved his community and he wanted the best for his community. Today, Pearson Park in Kinston serves as a lasting tribute to him, as do the safety measures enacted at the sheriff's office since. In assuring that our officers have the right equipment, the best equipment, you know, to deal with situations that we're confronted with on a daily basis. All part of the legacy Alan leaves behind. He went above and beyond, you know, service of his community. And that's what I would say that his, his legacy is, is the commitment, you know, to, to serve and be there and stand behind his community. He loved being law enforcement. He loved his community. Um, he loved his family deeply and he loved his friends and you know he was he was just he was a good man. Alan followed in his family's footsteps in law enforcement doing what his dad did. Catherine says it's what he wanted to do and was his passion. She says that she is thankful for family, friends and faith that have all helped her carry on. And we'll continue our look at policing in Eastern Carolina tomorrow night at six examining what community organizations and law enforcement are doing to work together.